My name's Simon, uh, welcome to the little gym at home. Today's awesome class is gonna be about counting and numbers. It's time to settle down with your child and uh, we're gonna get to know each other a little better and we're gonna sing the hello song. If you don't know the words, don't worry, you can sing along with me once you get to know it. It's really easy, so just follow along. Here we go. Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to the gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Oh, we come to the gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Now we're going to get our names by singing our name song. Uh, today, I'm wearing a black top and Baby's wearing a pink top. And I'm gonna sing a song about our tops and you can follow along at home. Simon wore a black top, black top, black top. Simon wore a black top at the gym today. Simon wore a black top, black top, black top. Simon wore a black top at the gym today. Hey, now it's Baby's turn, you ready? Baby wore a pink top, pink top, pink top. Baby wore a pink top at the gym today. Baby wore a pink top, pink top, pink top. Baby wore a pink top at the gym today. Now we're going to do our warm up, and this is going to be an awesome group of activities all based around counting. Um, now, Baby and I are gonna show you the first skill, just so you know how to safely spot this one. Now, what you wanna do is you're gonna hold them nice and close to your chest, and this is called a partner log roll. Uh, you start off by laying on your back, and then give them a nice cuddle. You roll, you take all the weight on your knees and your elbows as you roll over, and you roll all the way back. Parents, please be ready to count with me and demonstrate the actions for the kids. Hey kids, look at your parents. They're going to make their bodies into the shape of the number one. Can you try? Can you lay down in the shape of number one? Can you log roll in the shape of number one? Or partner log roll together? Go! Log roll number one, log roll number one, log roll number one, log roll on my way. Freeze! Give the kids a hand! Let's clap and count to two. Ready? One, two. Hey kids, look at your parents. They're going to hold up two fingers on one hand. Can you do that? Can you keep holding your two fingers up as we run? Let's be a running two. Go! Two, two, running two, 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 running two, 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 running two, running on my way. Have you ever been to running? It's so you. Freeze! Let's clap and count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Now let's slap our bellies and count to four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Look at your teacher. They're holding up four fingers on one hand. Can you do that? Now can you hold up four fingers on both hands? Our fingers will be our feathery wings as we flap our arms and gallop like a chicken. Go. Four, four, gallop four. Let's whisper and count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. 
Now, let's slap our knees and count to six. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey kids, look at your parents. They're going to hold their arms up in the air and make their arms in the shape of the number six. Can you try? Try keeping your arms in the number six and jump. Be a jumping six. Go. Six, six, jumping six, jumping in a pancake mix. Six, six, jumping six, jumping on my way. Never knew you could do tricks. Jumping up and down in my grandma's pancake mix as six. Freeze. Do you remember how to be a galloping four? Go. Four, four, gallop four, 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 gallop four, gallop on my way. Freeze. Do you remember how to be a running number two? Go! Two, two, running, two, 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 running, two, running on my way. Freeze! Do you remember how to be a log rolling number one? Go! One, one, number one, log roll, number one, log roll on my way. Have you ever been one? How fun! Freeze! Let's take seven tiptoe steps and count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's all take eight big marching steps. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, parents, let's give our kids a 10 second hug. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for counting with me. And now we're going to do our next activity. This is an awesome activity with colours. And I've got these great bean bags here at the little gym. If you don't have these, don't worry. You can go and find anything else around your home that also has multiple colours. Uh, that could be tea towels, obviously you have to be clean, or you could just find some socks. Now I'm going to give you a few moments and I'll see you back here shortly. So have you got your socks? Excellent, well carry on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use your socks, your bean bags, whatever you've got in front of you to see if we can match colours. And matching is all about the first stage of being able to recognise colours. So, hey, I've got a yellow bean bag. Can you see anything else around you or around me that's the colour yellow? <gasps> What's that over there? Hey, look, I've got a yellow ball and a yellow bean bag. Look, they're the same. <gasps> Now, should we see if we can match any other colours? Can you see anything that matches? What's this? The colour green. Okay, have you seen it? Is it over there? Look, it's a green hoop and a green bean bag. They're also the same. Now, should we do one more? Let's see if we can find anything that matches the colour red. Can you see anything? Can you? You're right, look! It's the red mat. It's also the colour of the red. Look, they match. Red and red. Now, if you're ready, we're also going to do some other exercises. Now, if your little one is able to walk by themselves, they can place the beanbag on the head and they can take their beanbag for a walk. But if your little one is just able to sit up, you can just place it on their head and see if they can balance it there. Should we have a go? You ready? Let's take our beanbag for a walk. You ready? One, two, three. Is anybody getting wobbly yet? Four, five, six, seven, eight. You ready? Is that going to balance it? Nine. Oh, no. It's fallen off. Ten. Hey, well done, you guys. Right. The next one. Should we see if we can jump over our yellow bean bag? So you're ready, you're going to see if we can do our two feet together. Now again, if your little one isn't able to jump, just go under their armpits and you can help jump them over the top. You ready? One, two, three, big jump! Awesome, well done. Hey, should we have another go? One, two, three, another big jump. 
Oh, you did so well. One more time. You ready? One, two, three. Big super jump. Fabulous. <gasps> hey, what other things do you think we can do with our socks and our bean bags? <gasps> I know. Are you ready? Should we see if we can balance on them? So I'm going to place one foot on. And I'm going to see if I can balance on one leg. Now, whoa, it's getting wobbly. It's getting really wobbly. And oh, all the way back down to the floor. Now, should we sing a little song while we're down here? I think it'll be a great idea. Now, to see if we can identify some of those body parts, we're going to sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You ready? I'm going to start all the way up here on my head. I'm going to put my yellow bean bag on there. I'm going to go head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Are you ready? Should we do it one more time? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hey, give yourselves a big clap, well done. I hope you're enjoying the class so far. So now we're gonna work on some skills. The first skill is called rock and rolls. Now for this, you're going to need to sit in a tuck shape. And I'll show you how to do this one first. You just place your child on the front of your knees so they can make eye contact with you as you rock backwards and forwards. And you're going to hold them just around the lower back, one, and back up. Now, should we do it together? So we're going to count as we do this. Ready? One, two, and three. And back up. Give them a hug, and well done. Another great skill you can try at home is called the fireman's carry. Now this one is all about developing your little one's spine strength. So we're gonna really focus on everything from the neck all the way down to their waist. Now you place your little one on your shoulder, just hold them nice and securely, again, around their torso, and you're gonna just take them for a walk. This lets them see a different perspective as they're walking around, kind of maintaining and getting lots of interest and also, as I say, working on those muscles as they do it. Now, because we're doing counting, we can also count as we do our footsteps. We can go one, two, three, four, five. Hey, give yourself a hand. Now it's time for another great skill. This one is gonna be wheelbarrows all the way up to a handstand. Now, this is all about producing great, strong bones. So weight bearing down through their arms as well as their spine strength. So we're gonna start off, just support them around the torso. You can place uh, the hands on the floor, see if they can weight bear, keep nice straight arms. If they are tucking their head in, just put your finger under their chin, try and push their chin back up. You'll tend to see that straightens their arms. If they're doing this so far, they're doing great. You can start to lift their hips a little bit higher towards that handstand position. If they've got this so far, you're doing absolutely awesome. Now I'm gonna show you this from the side. So I'm just gonna turn around. I'm just gonna hold there and you can see weight bearing really nicely down through their arms, uh, keeping their head up and I'm just holding them around their waist, just like so. So have a go at that and see how you get on. Now we're nearly at the end of our class and we're gonna do our ball activity. Now for this activity, you will need a ball, so I'll give you a few moments to go off and get that. So now you've got your ball. <gasps> wow! We're gonna start with our activity. Now the first one, nice simple one, you're just gonna sit them on top of the ball. Now you can just support them around the waist and we're gonna bounce them. Now of course, we've been talking about counting as well. So we're gonna count as we bounce them. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Why don't you have a go? One, two, three, four, five. Are they smiling so far? Should we do it one more time? One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Right, now the next one we're gonna do 
um, is going to be actually standing on the ball. And this is more of a balancing activity. So we're going to put them, again, support them if you need to. You can lock out their knees by just putting your hands around their lower legs. Support them standing on there. And again, we will count as we do this one as well. So you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Doing awesome. You ready? Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Well done, you did awesome. Okay, so settle down for some bubble time. Now I'm going to sing as all the bubbles come out. Now for your youngest child, you'll find they'll just track the bubbles with their eyes. And as they get slightly older, maybe around about eight or nine months, you'll start to see their arms start to extend out and try and pop those bubbles. And that's how the hand-eye coordination will start to kick in. Now we're going to start off and I'll sing and see if you can pop them. Now, if you don't have any bubbles at home, don't worry, you can help by counting the bubbles on the screen. Are you ready? Let's go. One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, eight little, nine little bubbles, 10 little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Can you pop all the bubbles? Can you pop them? Awesome. Now we're right at the end of our class and we're going to sing our goodbye song. So are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. Bye bye everyone. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye bye everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Now, my name's been Simon. This has been The Little Gym at Home. Look forward to seeing you at the next class.